queen still reeling from Harry and Meghan upset but Kate is new strength of royal family. The royal family has experienced a few serious bumps in the road in the past few months, but its new inner core is flourishing in the face of the adversity, one royal expert said. The Queen has been dealt some severe blows in recent months, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams conceded as he mentioned Prince Andrew's association with Jeffrey Epstein and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to step down as senior royals. But she can also count on the support and relentless work carried out by a few members of the royal family, particularly those closest to the throne. Mr Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, those who have focused on the misfortunes of the royals in recent months, and there have been many, should take note that the new inner core of the royal family is flourishing and this looks like being an excellent example of the way the Windsors seems able to reinvent themselves when difficulties arise as they periodically do in any family. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, has been highly praised for her work in recent weeks, the seasoned royal expert noted. The Duchess toured the UK to speak about the five big questions on the Under Five survey, a project she endorsed as part of her commitment to improving the knowledge and understanding we have of toddlers and how the early years of life impact on adulthood. She also took part in a podcast for the first time opening up on her pregnancies and labor, on motherhood and on what she learned from her grandmother. But Mr Fitzwilliams believes Kate isn't the only star shining in the royal family. Prince William, he says, is following his father's footsteps and committing to protect the environment. Prince Charles himself has carried out a historic visit to Israel and the occupied Palestine territories in late January during which he became the first ever member of the royal family to visit Bethlehem. The Prince of Wales also met the presidents of both Israel and Palestine and pledged his support to help Palestinian obtaining freedom, justice and equality in a groundbreaking speech. Camilla, the expert added, continues to prove herself as one of the hardest-working royals passionate about touching and difficult topics. Mr Fitzwilliam said, after the debacle of Andrew and Megxit, the royal family have undoubtedly received some severe body blows in recent months. If one follows recent royal activities, another theme emerges, heartening for the monarchy. Kate has received universal praise for her activities. These have included launching a nationwide survey to help the under fives and her help for Children's Mental Health Week. It also includes her podcast interview about motherhood and raising children her own happy childhood and also the problems in raising a family. During the interview, she sounded confident and warm to her subject, and the media coverage of the podcast was universally positive. William has launched the Earthshot Prize to encourage those seeking to solve the environmental problems the world faces, and this is likely to be a highly prestigious award. The Prince of Wales carried out last month a highly sensitive visit to Israel and the occupied Palestinian territory successfully. Camilla has spoken powerfully about the taboo of domestic abuse. Queen hands Meghan Markle and Harry one year to make New Deal work, or could be reversed. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been granted one year by the Queen to make their split from the royal family work. A royal author has said that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will officially cease being working royals and will no longer represent Her Majesty from March 31. Royal biographer Ingrid Seward has said the longest reigning monarch won't dwell on their decision and has left the door open for the Duke and Duchess to return to frontline duties. M. Seward said the Queen, 93, is very pragmatic and the option for the arrangement to be reviewed in year was made with her grandson in mind. M. Seward told People magazine, she won't dwell on the exit. She is very pragmatic. She has left the door open for Harry, especially the year of review was with Harry in mind. According to royal historian Robert Lacey, the Queen understands the situation Harry, 35, is going through as it brings back memories of her relationship with her younger sister Princess Margaret. The royal biographer said it has made Her Majesty sensitive to the feelings of her grandson. He said, she has a particular sensitivity to what Harry has been going through because of her closeness to Margaret and seeing the same drama's intentions played out two generations ago. The royal expert has explained the issues of younger siblings within the royal family has become an enduring problem, which is yet to be resolved and has resurfaced in the recent months. 
he said, the younger sibling syndrome is an enduring problem. The system has not found a way of giving them the recognition that they need. Mr. Lacey added the complex issue becomes worse once the younger sibling realizes they are very unlikely to ever ascend to the throne. He added, until Elizabeth produced heirs, Margaret was a possible future queen. It is a family situation of conflict that goes back over generations. The complexities of Meghan and Harry's future roles outside the royal family were highlighted last week after it was revealed the couple could not use the trademark Sussex Royal. The couple's popular Instagram account uses the name Sussex Royal as well as their own website. A spokeswoman for the Sussexes said, while the Duke and Duchess are focused on plans to establish a new non-profit organization, Given the specific UK government rules surrounding the use of the word royal, it has been therefore agreed that their non-profit organization, when it is announced this spring, will not be named Sussex Royal Foundation. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not intend to use Sussex Royal in any territory post-spring 2020. Meghan and Harry have a string of royal engagements lined up for the two weeks. Harry will make a solo appearance at the Endeavour Fund Awards to recognize the achievements of the armed forces community on March 5. The next day, the Duke will join British racing legend Lewis Hamilton at the official opening of the Silverstone Experience. The couple are set to make their next public appearance together at the Mountbatten Music Festival at the Royal Albert Hall on March 7.